You know, it's, it, it's not often you start a show with a Sinn Féin First Minister of Northern Ireland and you end it with the actor who did Jerry Adams' voice during mm. the broadcasting ban. I mean, when, when you look back on that, like, we have come a long way, though, haven't we? Well, it's just, you know, the, the interesting thing about doing Jerry A's voice was that it was actually um, the great journalist, Mary Holland, who asked me to do that. I, I mean, I didn't volunteer. You see, it's again, you get asked, you do it, you know. But, Lots um, of people say no, though, but, but this is... This is how you... No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> um, but but um, it was a time when uh, they wouldn't allow Republicans to express their opinion. And, and Mary called me up and said, look, I've got this interview with Jerry Adams and um, it, it, I'm hearing a different message, which was... And she said, I think the public need to hear this. So... It, they used to, they were going, they asked me to uh, voice sync Jerry, you know, so that he, his actual words would be heard, his, even if it wasn't him, the, the sense of what he was trying to say. So I, I, I did that and of course it changed everything, you know, and so everybody's got to do a little bit, you know. Whenever... I look at your work and, and writ large through it is, is the idea of identity. It's something that you always come back to. And mm. I was interested in the thing you said not so long ago that you think that your own identity, it, it's still constantly changing and constantly evolving. Well, I think if it doesn't evolve, you're, you're dead. Your identity is supposed to change. It's supposed to change. I, my identity changes if I listen. When I heard the band playing there and the, I thought it was fantastic. I mean, just, oh, a bit different, feel a bit different from somebody else now. It's good. And if, if you don't, if, excuse me, if you don't change your identity, uh, then you end up like DUP. <laughs> uh, Michelle's changing her identity. She's alive, you can see it. 